rolling out the red carpet for the NBA's midseason showcase. Stars from even outside of the sports world rolled through Toyota Center for Sunday's All-Star Game, soaking up Houston's hospitality. Definitely, I love the you know the uh, food. You know, um, definitely the people are here. You know, the hospitality, Southern hospitality. I love it. A piece of me is mad because I could have went to the NBA. Another piece of me is happy because I chose comedy. But you know, it's it's just tough when you know that you can be great at everything. I'm doing stand-up comedy. I'll stand this lane. I have no reason being better than LeBron and Kobe and Dwayne and them right now. It's not fair. I know I don't have athletic skills, so I just come out here to support my guys that are, and that's what it's all about. And I think that's vice versa. I mean, it's just one of those things. It's all entertainment. We all appreciate and respect what each other does. Stepping into the spotlight along with celebrities were fans from across the country filing in to see basketball's cream of the crop share a court. This weekend has been all, like a flawless, everything go right type of weekend, so I am excited about it. Witnessing the high-flying antics of the human highlight reels, basketball served as a common bond relished by all in attendance. Reporting from Toyota Center, Nick Giovanni, Local 2 Sports. Our man covering the NBA All-Star Weekend, morning and night, Local 2 Sports, Nick Giovanni. Uh, Nick, you've been all over the place. You're live now outside of Toyota Center. I know those fans are going to be uh, starting to file out. They were treated to a fantastic game tonight, weren't they? Tell you what, Randy, we've seen a little bit of everything over the last couple of days, and if only for a night, we saw Clutch City converted into Lob City, if you will, a dunk fest, an air show, if you will, that rivaled the dunk contest from last night. So fans certainly walking away happy with what they ended up seeing unfold tonight in what was actually a tightly contested matchup throughout from start to finish. Houston fans in particular were happy to see James Harden in the house simply on the court. He came in a question mark with the ankle, of course, saw the floor for the first time about seven minutes into the game, though, and ended up logging about 20 minutes, finished with 15.6 rebounds and three assists. So all in all, not a bad day at the office for James, but the MVP, your six-time All-Star, Chris Paul took over this game. He was a facilitator with 15 assists, many of them to Blake Griffin, a scorer with 20 points, so did it all. Had some help there from Kevin Durant on the west side, chipped in 30 points and six rebounds. All in all ends up with a 143-138 win for the west. They were a great weekend? Yeah, all together, great weekend. It was great to be with Coach Pop and all our coaching staff and enjoy my time with TD. And I uh, back to work now. Yeah, we did a good job defensively. You know, Kobe had two blocks on LeBron and we were able to control the boards and we got the win. Okay. Now, as exciting as this was for us, break time now over for guys like James Harden and the Rockets who are scheduled, I'm told, to get back to work tomorrow. So it's certainly an exciting weekend, but now it is back to work for the Rockets. Randy? Nick, quick question uh, before we let you go. We're going to be continuing to get post game uh, in from Toyota Center in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes. But hey, your general thoughts, uh, you were making the rounds tonight with the fans. You caught some of the action inside. You walk away feeling what? Uh, it seems like Houston put on a great show. You know what? Every person that we kind of pulled on that very subject from fans walking in the door to some celebrities that were walking along the red carpet, everyone seemed impressed not only by tonight and the show we ended up seeing on the court, but by Houston in general and the stops they made in the days leading up to this, including your stops at the GRB and jam session and just uh, places around town, just taking in the city. Food ended up being a big factor for a lot of people. They're talking about <laughs> that Cajun food that Houston's bringing to town, not not walking away uh, with uh, with some empty stomachs or uh, unsatisfied to say the least. All right, good stuff.